so i'm going to do a live unboxing from tc intent um they're located in texas i think i got black soldier fly larvae silkworms and dubious so this is the package it comes in they write on it and they say um they write on it and say live harmless feeder insects and they also write on the um, sticker too after you open it they put it in another separate box this is the dubia starter colony so they put like i think it's like five females in here oh, i'm sorry I'm so I'm so this. this is so gross because they're so freaking big oh it's on this back these things are huge do you see that and i also got the oh my god they're huge oh my god eh. look at it this thing is huge i'm sorry i never seen my doobie has never got this big oh my god so the buffalo beetles that they come with um just for a limited time they include them so it cleans out all of the waste from the the dubia colony so you don't have to clean up much so they'll eat all the poop and they'll also eat the food they don't eat and they eat the dead um dubias too so this is the soldier fly larvae oh look at the baby silkies they're supposed to be upside down so the food goes down look there's the baby silkies in there they're so cute look. but they're like really creepy once you like take them out like they look really weird. I guess the little baby ones they aren't that bad. I think these are smalls. These are smalls. So they're not okay. Oh, these are medium black soldier fly larvae too, by the way. I think I got like 250. And this is the chow for the silkworms. Because you know they eat mulberry leaves, but mulberry leaves are not really in season right now, so that is that it's packaging because you know they, they secure it they put tape on here too i'm definitely gonna roll from them again and it came really fast it's priority two day shipping and this is my first dubia call me i'm sorry myself so let's get into it so i have just a tupperware box i just washed it with um dawn dish soap and water make sure you get all the soap out and i have a lid for it too because i mean they can't cut off the sides but just to be sure just put a lid on that junk and but make sure you don't make like a really tight lid I poke some holes in it so they don't suffocate and die and they have enough air so i'm just gonna open this and we just we're just gonna push them out oh oh my god get the It's the sound of their little feet for me. This one, oh my gosh, this one's on his back, so I'm gonna just screw it over. They, oh, oh, okay. Oh my gosh. They're humongous. I'm gonna show you guys. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, yeah, I'm done. It's gonna take me, it's gonna take me a while to get used to this because these some big jumps. Like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. okay, mm -mm. okay, so I'm gonna separate them because I don't like how they all on top of each other. So, yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing for the buffalo beetles that'll just be my cleaner, so I don't gotta do nothing. To me. And they just little old beetles, so I ain't scared. Just dump them all in there. There's like five females and one male. So for your starter colonies, you should always have multiple females and like one male so you can just go impregnate them all. And then you get more eggs and babies that way. What if I just drop my phone on them? I wouldn't pick it up. They on my phone now. It's a cute little baby one over there. The baby ones are that bad. So I have collard greens. So I'm gonna try to take a piece. Put some here, I rinsed them off already. I just take a piece, put them here. I don't really give them like the stem like that. Unless sometimes they'll eat it, sometimes they don't. So take a piece. Just put them. You should always put fresh greens in each and every day because they get their water from there. But also in the corners, I'm going to put some cricket quencher or cricket quencher. 
It's for crickets and it's also for other feeders. And put it in the water because you know we all get a little thirsty. I put it in the water, put it in there because we all get a little thirsty. Can you see it? Is that right there? Oh my god! <laughs> Is that like little thing right there? So I'm gonna just put like a couple of them like in the corner so like they won't like get dehydrated and die. Take another piece and like put it like somewhere else. I'm just gonna like scatter around a little bit, not too much. It'll get a lot of water from the greens, so I'm not gonna put a whole bunch. Really basically it. And you just let them breathe and do what they do. Just replace the greens like every day. Somebody said that you should leave the colony alone for six months. I'm honestly, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just go to a local reptile uh, place and I'm gonna go get some more dubious. Yeah, it doesn't that way. I'm gonna just go get some more dubious and I'm gonna just let these vibe, let these breed, let these mate, let these do what they wanna do. Get the babies. So like this is what it's looking like. The poop is down there because it came from the the inside. So this is what it looks like. My little colony. You feel me? They're eating the greens already a little bit. You know they like it. See, look, that one is a little thirsty, so it's eating its cricket cruncher. And they're just eating and vibing. Look, at that's the daddy. Yeah. Also, uh, I, I heard that it's good if you have some from another colony, put them in here. So, I don't know, they don't, oh, they don't just inbreed. I don't know, somebody said that. So, do that. Take some from your old colony or your new colony. Well, not your old colony, your new colony, but just take some and just throw them in there. So I'm about to do that right now. I'm going to take some from, let's put the lid on it. Not too tight, but just like on it. Like leave some rooms of air coming. Or you can put holes in it. It's completely up to you. So that's all. Let me know what else content you want to see. You want to know more about my chameleon, my bearded dragon. Little baby bearded dragon. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys want to some more. This is my reptile room. These are my kids. So this is my kids room. Yeah, let me go let us know what other content you want to know. Or you want to see? Or you want me to try out some new places? I will try out some other places. I also like dubiaroaches.com. I've ordered from them before. And Joss's Frogs is nice too. But if you know what content you want to see, just comment below. Make sure you like and subscribe, please. Thank you.